Hey, what's going on guys? It's Killings. I'm just back in another video, and today I have another Ration Review for today. And last time we did a Mountain House meal, uh, was quite a while ago, uh, a couple months ago. And we did the biscuits and gravy and the mac and cheese, which those were kind of so much of a fail. Too much boiling water went to that and kind of, kind of ruined the experience. And I thought I've done also the scrambled eggs, which is what we have here. And this is with the bacon. Um, I know there's a breakfast skillet, which has peppers and onions in it. And I think also has bacon or it may have sausage or ham. I don't know. I'd have to kind of check. But I don't know if I've actually done the scrambled eggs with uncured ham. Um, I thought I actually have done it as a review. But went through my uploads and I guess I have not. So in today's video, we will be trying this out. Um, so yeah, uh, I will get this opened up. And we'll get some boiling water in this. So peel a seal on top. But before we do that, if you look up on here, it tells you some things about it. So you can just add water. It's ready in 10 minutes, but in reality, in about 5 minutes, it should be fine. Uh, no extra cleanup. You can eat it straight out of the bag, but we will use that onto our tray. And there's 22 grams of protein per serving. Our nutritional facts are right here. And you can pause the video for all that. Quite a bit of sodium and kind of a little bit less calories, considering of what you get. But, um, and there's a little bit of the other ingredients there. But, for this, it asks for one cup, and I wait about five minutes, hopefully it'll focus. And let's stand for an additional four minutes. But, yeah, uh, it's already pre-cooked, so if you wanted to wait less time, you could probably eat it in about five to seven minutes. And there's a real syllable on the top, and there are eggs. It's an auction absorber right on the top. Unlike the uh, other video we did with the biscuits and gravy and the mac and cheese, that was all the way on the bottom. And that was hard to find, actually. So, unlike this one, it has some bacon pieces you can probably see on the bottom there. But, um, we will get that what constituted and we'll have that sit to the side and I have another something that I want to show and review. Alright guys, uh, we're still waiting for the scrambled eggs to what constitute. Of course, for uh, our spoon for today, uh, the little bit of residue of the saying on our spoon, uh, which this one is a chili and daff spoon this is from a uh, daff ration or a chilean ration um and we're gonna be having this for to eat with our eggs with bacon um the other thing we're gonna be having since it is kind of like a breakfast for dinner sort of thing we're gonna be having a apple turnover and this is from bridgeford shelf stable see the ingredients there and nutritional facts but this is dated 302nd day of 2018 so it is still fairly new it is pretty hefty too I think that's just because of the bread but hopefully the filling is just as good as the regular filling in the sandwich of Bridgeford and since this is, like I said, a breakfast for dinner, um, we will be having a Canadian sports drink, orange, nutritional facts there, and ingredients. I was tempted of trying a uh, an orange soda, but I don't think that would have worked since this. Kind of having like orange juice in a way with it. 
So let's get our tray out and let's put these out and while we're still waiting for those eggs. Alright, I do apologize for the lots of spots on it. Um, that is not dirt. That is just from water. So we are going to get our Bridgeford uh, sandwich out or turnover. And there is an oxygen absorber. You're going to want to remove that. And that's what we have. Smells very good, actually. Kind of smells like a, um, like an apple cinnamon, um, apple pie, almost, in a sense. So, we do have our orange drink here, and I am going to fill it up in this water bottle. Hopefully that stays. And... Let's check out the orange drink here. That's what we're looking at. Definitely has a strong kind of like artificial flavor of like orange. But I'm sure it still should be fine. I'm going to slowly add this in. But that's looking nice in color, actually. And we did get most of the powder out, so I'm not really worried about the little chunks in the bottom. So let's give this a shake and I'm going to actually try it out. And I think I'm going to go for a low taste. Wow, very similar to orange Gatorade, but not as sweet. So let's wait for those eggs and we'll be right back. Alright guys, let's check on our scrambled eggs. Uh, I'm pretty sure that they are reconstituted by now. And that's all that we got. Um, I may have added a little bit too much water, but nothing that it can't hurt. Do want to get as much as the eggs out without spearing out all the liquid and whatever. I have drained most of the liquid since most of it was due to me adding too much. And that's all we got. Now, Obviously, there isn't a lot of bacon, but that's okay, because I personally do not like a lot of bacon. But as you can see, little pieces of bacon there. And pieces of egg. All were constituted well. So, let's get a big chunk here. Lots of bacon and eggs. Let's try it out. Hmm. Actually. Hmm. It's actually pretty good. I'm gonna go another bite for those those chunks of eggs are huge. I could use a little salt, but those are just fine. I mean, they're not fully reconstituted, but that's okay. They're already pre-cooked. And that's not bad at all. Mmm. I do apologize if it's a very long video. Um, obviously, it would have been just the scrambled eggs, 
but I did want to kind of have an orange drink and this. Let's open this tank up a turnover. Ooh, wow. Actually looks similar to the filled French toast. Let's take a bite of that. Take it right in the middle. Hmm. Oh. Uh, hold on. You have cinnamon, maybe some nutmeg. Hmm. You do have the apple with spice in it, but I don't know. It's kind of. It is kind of not bland, I would say, but I guess lacking on flavor, so to say. Now let's wash it down. It's better to use cold water with those drinks since it makes much more of a bigger flavor, but not bad. Um, I am gonna finish this up and we'll be back for recap. All right, so giving my definite uh, opinion on these, the apple turnovers are pretty good for if you're going camping, hiking, traveling, uh, or bug out bags or get home bags. Uh, they're really good also for emergency kits. Do want to check on the gate, uh, I'm sorry, not gates, <laughs> the dates on these. Uh, because maybe that is why the lack of flavor, since considering that this turnover is about four years old. And do want to make sure that you can use... Uh, a bunch of these, but you do want to keep them in a cool place. Don't keep them at uh, high temperatures. Uh, those will shorten the life, uh, shelf life on those, and also may change the flavor upon those. But it is still pretty good in calories, and you will get your sugar up, and your carbs and stuff like that will keep you somewhat full for breakfast, even if it's something little. Now, to move on with the oh and another thing i wanted to add before uh going on and finishing this um <clears throat> flavor on this was pretty sweet and <clears throat> wasn't bad whatsoever it did a little bit lack on flavor but it's definitely similar to the filled french toast and it just has more of like an apple flavor more or less, uh, just really much no different of a cinnamon roll or the cinnamon bun and punch toast. Now, as for Mountain House meals, uh, you can find these pretty much about anywhere. Um, same thing goes for those Bridgeford uh, sandwiches or turnovers or cinnamon buns or filled French toast. Uh, these ones you can find on eBay, Amazon. Uh, Probably your camping stores like Best Pro Shop, uh, Walmart, um, probably other kind of sports goods like Dick Sporting Goods and stuff like that. But these kind of go for a little bit more expensive than a couple of the other cheaper options. Uh, these ones will go for about eight to nine bucks while your uh, breakfast skillets, same thing, would go about maybe $10, $11, depending on where you buy them. Same goes for the lunch and dinner menus of options of Mountain House. Now, you could probably go for something like Ready Wise. Uh, that I still have yet to try. I have heard that Ready Wise is not a really good brand uh, for emergency food since the quantity is pretty much lacking of uh, flavor and just quality. But that will be a separate video when I do get my hands on a Ready House meal. Uh, a Ready Wise, I mean, I'm sorry. But um, that will be it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to smash that like button. 
subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications down below so you do not miss out on future videos and rations I try out and post. But until next time guys, I'll see you guys soon. Have a good day guys.